simplify the complex fraction, we're going to use the same method as in the last video for the complex fractions, which is um, to simplify complex fraction, we want to turn into one fraction on the top divided by one fraction on the bottom. And then from there, we're going to turn the division of the two into a multiply by the reciprocal factor and cancel. So first thing we need to make one fraction on top, which means we need to know the LCD of the top. The LCD is Z uh, plus 9 times Z minus 1. And we're also going to need the LCD at the bottom, and it turns out it's going to be the same thing. But if it's not the same thing, that's okay. Just figure out the LCD for the top and the LCD at the bottom. And we're going to force the fractions on the top to have the common LCD Z plus 9, Z minus 1. And we're going to make just one fraction on top. So this first one here has a Z plus 9 denominator. It needs a Z take away 1. So that means we're going to multiply z minus 1 top and bottom. The next one here already has z minus 1. It needs the z plus 9. And that's okay to multiply in the bottom as long as we also multiply it onto the top. And on the bottom, same idea. We have a z plus 9, z minus 1 uh, common denominator. The first one has z minus 1. It needs z plus 9. So we do it top and bottom. The second one has the plus 9, it needs the z take away 1, so we multiply it in top and bottom. Now that we've done that, we're going to rewrite the top fraction to be one fraction. So adding across the numerators and keeping the common denominator as one denominator, we get 5 times z minus 1 plus 9 times z plus 9 all over z plus 9, z minus 1, common denominator. So that's the top fraction. And that's being divided by the bottom fraction. Again, go right across the top. 6z plus 9, take away 3z minus 1, all over common denominator, z plus 9, z minus 1. Now at this point, if you see that you're going to be able to cancel the two denominators out because they're the same, that's fine. Go ahead and do it. If you don't see why that's going to happen, then don't do it. You'll be able to do some canceling later when it makes more sense to you. All right, so now we have one fraction over one fraction. So as soon as we do that, we're going to use the idea that the fraction bar really means that we're dividing the two fractions. We're doing the top divided by the bottom. So we're going to change division to multiply. And we just have to remember that we need to multiply by reciprocal of the bottom. Alright, so we have 5 times z minus 1 plus 9 times z plus 9 all over z plus 9 z minus 1. Instead of being divided by the bottom, we're going to multiply by the reciprocal of the bottom z plus 9, z minus 1, so you flip the bottom. 6 times z plus 9, take away 3 times z minus 1. Now we want to be able to do canceling, and at this point we can do a little bit of canceling already just to make it look a bit simpler, but we can't do all the canceling yet because the top left here needs to be simplified out. We have to clear parentheses and then see if we can factor it. And same with the bottom right. But right here, we already have factors, z plus 9 minus 1. And there's common factors up here. So as soon as you see common factors, or things that are being multiplied together like that, we can cancel them. When you have pieces that are being added or subtracted together, not multiplied together, we cannot cancel. So for example, we cannot cancel z plus 9 top here with z plus 9 bottom here. Because right now, we would not be canceling common factors if we did that because these items are not being multiplied together. So what we want to do is clear out these parentheses here. All right, so go ahead and distribute that, distribute that. Same down here. And after we distribute, we're going to be able to look and see how we can factor it and have common factors. Then we can cancel. So let's see, this will be our simplify step. 
And some problems like this you need to do a simplified step, some problems you don't. It just depends on what type of problem you're given. Alright, so clearing parentheses on the top gives us this one here. And then what we have for a denominator is, and there's just a 1 left here because we canceled it out, and a 1 down here. So already I'm using the idea that multiplying fractions you multiply right across the top. So we have this top times 1 and multiply all the way across the bottom for the denominator. So it would be 1 times this stuff right here, which I'm going to distribute. 6z plus 54 minus 3z plus 3. So we clear parentheses. Now we want to combine like terms. 5z and 9z gives us 14z. And minus 5 plus 81 is plus 76. And that's going to be divided by 6z minus 3z is 3z. 54 and 3 is 57. Now we can try to factor and cancel. So let's see, first of all, if anything factors. We could take a 2 out of the uh, top there, a GCF, and that would leave us with 7z plus 38. And we can take a 3 common factor out of here. We're left with z plus 19. And it doesn't look like anything as far as common factors will cancel out. 2 and 3, we can't cancel the z's because we'd be reaching within something that's being added to something else. Therefore, it's not a common factor. Factors are always multiplied together. So that means we're done. So we're going to leave the answer here. Or if you see right away that nothing's going to cancel out, you can leave the answer here too. Either one of those is okay.